Oh, she. <laughs> oh, she. Your girl up in the building. Looking like I'm about to rob somebody today in all black. You know what I'm saying? I put my hood on. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? It's that BX right here. Bleh. How y'all feeling? <laughs> I was in this type of mood today. Your girl said, you know what? I had a crazy night last night. I don't feel like putting on no makeup. Doing none of that other stuff. Even though I got some lipstick on, you know. Oh, my music is still playing. Okay. I was like, what happened to my music? How y'all feeling? Y'all like my booze hat? <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I'm repping his company right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm repping who he worked for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but how y'all feeling? It's good to see all of you. Welcome. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Taro. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. My night's been getting crazier lately. I just saw 111 on the clock. 111, that's an angel number message for you. You know what I'm saying? I got my black obsidian ring on. You know what I'm saying? New York stand up. What's going on with the collective? I want a good reading. Springtime tried to pop out. Some of y'all about to cut up for the spring. You about to be out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? You about to be out here. Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Can we get a good collective reading? Something positive. What's going on with y'all? What's going on? I got to read the room, though. I got to read the room. You know what I'm saying? Got to read the room. What's going on with y'all up in here? Let's shuffle one more time. Mm -hmm, gotta shuffle like that, like you a Las Vegas dealer. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, what's going on with y'all? I'm happy because I'm getting Buffalo Wild Wings tonight for dinner. Yeah, I, I've been wanting that since this morning. You know when you got your dinner planned out? That's greedy people stuff. Y'all skinny people don't know about that, but some of y'all skinny people be eating too. You be like, mm, yeah, tonight for dinner? Mm. This is what I'm going to have. <laughs> no more second chances. Come on now. We done talked about this person already. I can't trust you. You hurt me time after time. Lesson learned. Come on, man. I don't want to talk about this person no more. Good news. Okay, good news coming. Happy, excited. Well, that's good. Tell me something good. Oh, yeah. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. Let's do one more. Come on, man. Mature man popped out and show off. Some of y'all, okay, locked up on the bottom. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck y'all be getting into? Okay, you do have good news coming in love. I feel like there's somebody you done with. Some of y'all, it could be your child's father, your child's mother, or this person could have baby mama, baby daddy drama. And that's why you done with them. I get it. Some of y'all, they was very, um, it says show off. Floss money, flexing, ego, cheapskate type with money. Damn, this person was cheap too. Ah, uh -uh, we ain't got time for this shit. 333, three, three, I just saw. So there's somebody you done with. I get that. Some of y'all, like I said, it could be your child's father, child's mother. It says kids, family issues, child support, custody battles. Okay, but you do got good news coming in. It says good news coming, happy and excited. So something exciting is happening in your love life. You also got the mature man, mature woman card. I feel like that's you. Somebody's name could be Ebony. Um, and you, some of y'all could be earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. It says young, grounded and practical, self-made, ambitious, owns everything. That's you. So you damn sure ain't got to put up with none of this shit. With drama from nobody, whether baby mama, baby daddy, mama, father, grandmama, they crooked tooth uncle, you ain't got to put up with it. Some of y'all, this person done been locked up. Okay, we ain't got time for that shit. You be a street dude, street chick. All right, tell me more about this good news you got coming in. Because I need more. You're getting a lot of angel messages too. Text message. So you're getting some type of communication. It says, you are on my mind. I miss you and can't get enough of you. On the bottom, it says pace. It's 
slow down, get to know each other, see if we're compatible. Tell me more about this text message, please. You got some type of communication coming in. I don't think it's from this person you done with. Social media, Instagram, trying to make you jealous, something you didn't notice, read the comments. So something about your social media. I don't know if this message is coming in from somebody on social media. Okay. Somebody that fuck with you. I see you texting somebody or somebody reaching out and it's going to make you real happy. It's going to make you feel really excited because this person definitely has been missing you and they can't get enough of your energy. But I definitely am getting here that you done with somebody. You learned a lesson from someone. Trash. No wonder. <laughs> you took the trash out. Uh-uh. Whoever this person is you was dealing with, they were straight up trash. Abuse. Wow. This person could have been abusive towards you. Damn. I just heard survivor. Like you a survivor. Taking it slow. So there is somebody you dealing with. Or some of y'all, you could just be taking it slow, period, in love, even if you're not talking to nobody right now. But some of y'all could be talking to somebody. There's definitely somebody ignoring here that you done with. You feel like this person is trash. They were abusive. Ghosting. Oh, you ignoring and you ghosting somebody. Damn. Ain't that the same thing? <laughs> not the double. Bad intentions. Yeah. Whoever this person is that you let go of, you did the right thing. Some of y'all are ignoring them. You could have blocked them, ghosted them. You're done dealing with this person. Good. I don't want to focus on them, but it is talking about how this person had bad intentions. They could have ghosted you in the past. Whoever they are, the universe is deeming them as trash. <laughs> so, and the way they were treating you as abuse. So you did the right thing. What about this other person, though, with this a good news, exciting news? What about them? You still talking about this other past person? Some of y'all, though, with the controlling card, you got to stop. Some of y'all a little bit too controlling in love. Don't look at me like that. And the universe don't want you to be like that. You got true love on the bottom. So you went through all this shit with this other person, but it seemed like you got good shit coming in because you got the vibes card. So whoever this person is that's reaching out, that's messaging you, they like your vibe. Some of y'all got to work on, don't look at me like that. Some of y'all got to work on your controlling energy. You a little bit too controlling in love. If you want people to do this, do that. You like, you got to realize like people, they own person. Some of y'all got to drop that. You want this, you want that. You And if it ain't you, just ignore it. But Especially my fixed signs, because I'm a fixed sign. I know already. You be wanting this, you be wanting that. You got to let people have their freedom. Stop trying to control people so much in connections. Okay? But a lot of y'all could be this person you dealt with in the past too that was controlling. This person blindsided you. So there's something about some type of lesson you learn because it keeps talking about that. But whatever the lesson is, it's leading you here to this true love. You got talking phase here. And new beginning. So you see what I'm saying? So I like it. It's slowly but surely. It showed us the background. But then it came up to now. What is the meaning of life? All right. Let's go to the tarot. I was like, is it time for... um? The who's in your energy read? I'm like, no, I just did one of those three days ago. I was ready to do a who's in your energy. But, you know, shout out to the girl in the comments that was hating, talking about, you need to get a new tablecloth. <laughs> you believe her? This bitch, you need to get a new tablecloth because you've had that one for a while and we can see it's burned and da 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 da. Bitch, fuck you. Get your mama a damn new tablecloth. Leave me the hell alone. Change it. Get some new damn panties. Change your damn panties, bitch. I like my tablecloth. Thank you. I'm going to keep it even longer now. Why don't you buy me one? Since you so concerned with me getting a new tablecloth. Who the hell is that? I don't know. You so concerned. Buy it. Put up or shut up. <laughs> 
out of here, boy. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> Y'all like, she too much. I know. That's why you love me. Yeah, I'm getting my buffalo wild wings. I'm getting my spicy garlic sauce. I love the spicy garlic from Buffalo Wild Wings and get my jam and jalapeno. And I'm going to call the store too and I'm going to tell them, make sure you make my wings wet. I don't like no dry wings. I like my wings saucy and I want all flats. I'm on one today. You know what I'm saying? All flats. Mm -hmm. I make sure you cook them well. I don't want no rubbery chicken wings. Spicy garlic. I want them real wet like my coochie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's going on here with the collective? Angel's like, oh my God. Lord. Angel's like, God, you sure we should have given this one? We should have chose this one. <laughs> oh God. The Hierophant in reverse. Mm, mm, mm. Taurus energy right there. Starting off. Damn. Five of swords. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Seven of cups. You know what's crazy about you? You got mad people that want your ass. Yeah, they do. Maybe they don't reveal themselves. I don't have anyone. Well, I'm telling you, you do. There are people that like you. Maybe they're not saying nothing, but they are feeling your ass. You got that seven of cups. Six of swords, you moving the hell away from whoever this was. You getting over some type of breakup, some type of separation. Okay, this person did you dirty, schmerty. Yep, three of wands. You freed yourself though, eight of swords in reverse. If you would have stayed with this person, they would have caused even more damage. You know what I'm saying? The wheel of fortune is in reverse. The Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, Sagittarian energy. Ten of Cups in reverse. This person was not, I don't want to talk about them, but it keeps talking about them. The Ace of Cups, finally. Finally, it's happened to me. Ah. Six of Wands on the bottom. Some of y'all, you getting with somebody that's famous in the public eye. It gets a lot of attention. They popular, you know, it's talking a lot about this other person here that you're not giving no second chances to It's saying this person would have made you very unhappy in the future. If the universe would have kept you two together. So the universe had to split you apart. Something happened for a lot of you that really was like the final straw. And that was completely divine intervention. That was completely divine intervention where the universe was like, oh, done. Bye bye. Yeah, look, the queen of wands, you fine, whoever you are. You are fine. You very attractive. You are very attractive. And with the six of wands here, you get a lot of attention. People see you. Your presence is known when you walk in a room. Some of y'all could be fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see new love for you here with this ace of cups. And I see a lot of people interested or you will have a lot of people trying to talk to you. Okay. Some of y'all, since you came out of your shell, you've been moving more, you've been doing more. Maybe some of you, you were kind of like in hermit mode after this situation and I don't blame you, but now it's like you, you know, cause this person with the five of swords, they, they treated you dirty schmerty. Somebody owes somebody money too. Something could have happened with finances for some of you. Somebody's name is Kira. Donna. Rakeem. You've been waiting on this person to hit you up. You've been waiting on this person's message and they're going to message you. Maybe they was waiting to see if you was going to hit them up. I just see you being happy. 
This person that did you dirty schmirty, they getting bad karma with the wheel of fortune in reverse. They getting a lot of bad shit happening to them. Because they fuck with a protected one. I just saw 1515 too. That's another angel number message for you. Let me know what it means in the comments and if it resonates in your life, okay? What's the Hierophant in reverse? The Eight of Cups in reverse? So this person that you said no more second chances, they do not want to let you go. So get ready for a return or them just kind of their energy just kind of just still lingering. Because they to them, they could just feel like y'all are on a break. Cap. What's the five of swords here? They not walking away from you. The sun. It's like some of y'all Leo energy here. It's like you saw this person's ways. Maybe you couldn't see it before. It could be something like I said, for some of y'all was like that last straw. Because, you know, sometimes when you care about somebody, you just kind of like sometimes you block out certain shit they do because you care about them. You know. Some of y'all really going out, enjoying your life. You're really happier. What's the seven of cups? Yeah, you done with the past and I'm proud of you. Yeah, this past person could definitely be somebody who was very emotionally immature, could have been younger than you. They have childhood issues, all types of shit. I'm telling you, they are getting some of y'all. They bad karma is like losing you and you having all these people that are interested in you. Yeah. What's the six of swords? Six of wands in reverse. Yeah. Some of y'all born on the six. You got the six here, the third, the tenth. Tenth is heavy. The fifth, the eighth. Yeah, you did the right thing. Because it's saying this person, some of y'all, they even have financial issues. You didn't feel seen in this connection. I don't want to keep talking about them, but it wants to highlight that. So this person that's messaging you, y'all have like a spiritual connection. They could be in the tarot or met the metaphysical. They could be a spiritual person. The nine of swords is on the bottom. So I don't know if this person is like worried they were nervous they had anxiety in regards to you in regards to the situation with you you made them nervous or something but i definitely see them reaching out they could have been up in their head about something they could have been very guarded towards you but whoever they are they do see themselves being with you like the ten of cups is like happily ever after so they do see themselves like they feel like you could make them happy in the long run, whoever this is. But for some of you, this person could have pushed you away a little bit because they were guarded in regards to love. But I don't see that. They could have dealt with like somebody who played a lot of games. But I see them coming around. I see them getting out of their head. Yeah, they feel a strong, strong soulmate connection with you with that two of cups. And they like that you're honest. There's no games with you. They, they feel like you're somebody who's trustworthy. I like that. Whoever this person is that you're texting, like they, they've been through it in love as well. They could have just got out of a breakup themselves. I like their energy. They're planning something for the two of you. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm seeing some of you, you could have been a recluse is what I heard after your situation ended with your person because you were really heartbroken and hurt by what they did. But I see you finally like starting to move forward now. And I like that. This is straight to the point. Yep. Yeah, some of y'all started traveling more. You started like making more like better moves after this situation ended. It's like you got your mojo back. You know what I mean? It's just it took some time. You got Leo and Cancer energy here. You had to regain your strength with the strength card in reverse. It's like you had to 
you had to become strong all over again because the situation definitely made you stronger. But some of you, it took some of your strength away. What's this Ace of Cups? The new person, they know what they want. There could be a lot of attraction between the two of you. A lot of attraction. This person, they dealt with like players though, or playettes, or people who just played a lot of fucking games. They don't want that. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. It's a lot of attraction between you two. You're their type, is what I just heard, like in every way, not just physically, but there is a physical attraction there. I mean, you gotta have that. What's this Six of Wands here? You know, a lot of you get, a lot of you, people see you and want you, but some of y'all got a resting bitch face or a resting asshole face. And that could be why a lot of people don't actually approach you. I don't know who that's for, because you got this King of Swords on top of the Six of Wands. So it's something about you getting a lot of attention, people being interested in you. You did get that Seven of Cups, but... Some, some of y'all, you got this real serious face and it intimidates people a little bit. So that's why some of y'all may not even be aware that certain people got their eye on you or are looking at you. Like some of y'all, you don't even mean to, you could just have that look on your face and some people will be like, Oh, he looked mean. She looked mean, but they look good. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like the person you texting the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like they have really good energy. This is somebody who's loyal, who's stable who knows what they want, who's reliable, okay? They may move slow because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but he's the most efficient. He's the one you know is going to be there, he or she. And this person could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. So it's good energy. Um, it talked a lot about the past situation, how the past person, you know, is still going to linger. Talks about how much more happier you are since you let this situation go, but I try to keep the focus on uh, Scorpio energy. There was a death card. I tried to keep the focus on the new, the current, the person that's going to be texting you. That's going to make you excited. Some of y'all, you might even end up being intimate with this person. Okay. Maybe y'all going to have sex and the sex could be really explosive. The sex could be really, really good, but I just see you being very excited when you get this message from this person so i like it so let's go into the extended now okay so in the extended what are we going to do we're going to look at and see what's happening in your love life in the future i want to see what you can expect in love who's coming in okay we're going to take a little peek into the future we'll pull oracle cards we'll pull tarot we'll get you some advice okay don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment subscribe share if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com is the way to do that. Hit that email. My Instagram and my TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. And um, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to go live on TikTok. And I still have members readings to do. I've got Patreon videos to do. So bear with me with that. But if you want to become a member of the channel or check out my astrology Patreon, that information is in the description box, okay? So thank you guys for tuning in. I love y'all. This was your collective reading for March 19th of 2024. I'm here if you need me. Make sure you keep your head up. Have a blessed week. And I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time, okay? I love y'all. Have fun. Be blessed. Be well. Go have sex. Bye-bye.